Hey guys, my name's Alana and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I post mental health videos and I also post singing covers and just general kind of like beauty and lifestyle videos. I will be putting out a weekly vlog soon as well, so let me know if you like that and if you want to see more content um, around that topic. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a mental health video. Um, since my last mental health video on self-harm actually went like really well, I was very, very surprised by it. Um, I was not expecting to get that much feedback and comments on views and everything. If you want to check that video out, I'll link it now in the iCard and down below. It was called um, How to Cover Up Self-Harm Scars. So today is going to be an extension of that um, video and this is kind of like a part two I suppose. This is going to be me talking about kind of the opposite and this is going to be like why, um, well, whether or not you should or shouldn't hide self-harm scars. Um, so yeah, I decided to film this video for you today. I hope you guys like it and as always please comment um, if you like this or if you find it helpful and please comment your opinion because there's no right or wrong opinion and I love to hear um, other people's views on this topic. So yeah, the question is should you or shouldn't you hide self-harm scars? This is like such a broad topic and I suppose like there is, like I said, there's no right or wrong way to go about this. Um, I'm going to be touching on a few points about my view and then I'm also going to be like um, giving some examples. So when it comes to self, like something like self-harm scars, I just want to put it out there that I don't really feel like, personally for me anyway, it's appropriate to go out um, of my house or even, even in my house, I wouldn't feel comfortable, but like out of my house, I wouldn't go out with um, fresh self-harm like on my body, like showing. Um, personally, I just think that it, like it's not even just that it could be triggering for other people. I just think that it is very like graphic in a way and quite like um, confronting for people. And I think it kind of is quite upsetting. Um, and also like just for sanitary and like hygiene, I don't really think it's smart to be like letting like air and things like get into wounds, like open wounds. Um, I think it's totally fine. This is obviously like not my main topic of the video, but I just wanted to mention this. I think it's totally fine if you had like um, band-aids on or if you had like some sort of bandage, like I'm totally fine with that. Like I've gone out of the house and being at home with that on and I'm totally fine but I just don't think you should really be going out with like that showing just you know um for those reasons but when it comes to self-harm scars um I personally kind of have the view of like it's your body and you shouldn't feel like you have to hide anything or feel like um you know feel judged and like when you struggle with something really personal like self-harm even if it was like in the past, um, it can still be quite like awkward, I suppose, when you encounter people, maybe you're meeting new people, or it could be like you're getting like you're going for interviews for a job, um, or you're gonna be around kids. Like there's a lot of different scenarios. So I'm gonna be touching on different scenarios and like what I think. But first of all, I just wanna say that like if you're struggling with self-harm, like presently, and you have scars or if you have struggled in the past and you have scars whether the scars are red whether they're like white it you know whatever it doesn't really matter as long as it's healed um i do kind of feel like you shouldn't be made to cover up your body like you shouldn't be um made to feel ashamed and that this is a topic that is so taboo and untalked about i think that if we actually start to like talking about it more and going out and like showing our arms or showing our legs or whatever i think that it will actually help break the stigma of self-harm and um because i've had a lot of people in my life personally say to me like oh do you really think you should be going out with your scars out do you think it's appropriate should i think you should cover up um or maybe you should wait until your red scars have turned white. Like, you know, and, and strangers can comment and make remarks to you. When you go out in public, you can tell sometimes people are staring at you. People sometimes don't know where to look. 
um, and it can become awkward for you, it can become awkward for someone else, people could be rude about it, um, but if you're going to choose to wear your scars out, no matter where they are on your body, just be aware that people may ask questions and I think you do need to be like ready for that, like you need to have like some excuses or a reason or something to say back. You don't have to even tell them what it is, like it's none of their business, but you need to have something ready, I suppose, so you feel prepared. Um, so yeah, but you know, if you're struggling with self-harm, self-harm is generally a side effect of a psychiatric illness and just the way that say someone with cancer, a side effect of chemo or whatever might be to lose their hair, or, like someone in a wheelchair, um, or somebody else who has some other disability or illness or symptom of illness, um, or if someone had acne for instance, you wouldn't you know, you wouldn't stare and you wouldn't like publicly point it out, you wouldn't ridicule that person, you wouldn't make them feel ashamed of it. So I don't understand why it would be any different with self-harm. Because self-harm is usually a, um, usually you have a, a illness if you're doing this behavior. This usually, you know, coincides with a mental illness. Um, so I definitely think that, you know, we need to see it as like a uh, illness and that it is just a side effect um, of an illness and that that what can happen. Um, I think if you're going to kind of ask yourself the question, am I going to show my scars like when I go out today or when I'm around people, I think you should consider a couple things. What I usually do is I would usually kind of ask myself, um, a number of questions like normally I would think like am I feeling really anxious today because if I'm feeling really anxious for instance I already feel like people are looking at me and I already feel really uncomfortable and I don't want to talk to anyone so that would mean that I would probably cover my arms and cover my legs up um, because I don't feel like having attention on me I don't have the emotional capacity to deal with that today so, you know, kind of see like how are you feeling that day before you go out. A good thing to do is to, if you want to wear like a short sleeve top um, or, a sh you know, shorts, a good idea could be to bring a jumper with you or a long sleeve shirt and you can just like tie it around your waist. Like you can get like flannel shirts. This is a really good idea because um, for me, like I often dress very like grunge, so it goes with my outfit anyway. Um, you know, and if you see my video, how to cover self-harm scars, you know that I have like a bunch of ways you can cover off scars. Um, but you could just tie this around your waist and then if you start feeling uncomfortable or awkward, you can just literally take it off and put it on and, um, or tie it around like where your legs are and you could feel a lot more like comfortable if you changed your mind. But definitely like kind of have a look at how you're feeling emotionally and go from there. Um, because this is like a question, if you have noticed noticeable self-harm scars like you're probably going to be asking yourself this question very regularly like do I feel like wearing my arms out do I feel like wearing my legs out like it's just something that becomes a part of your life and you have to do um and so yeah I definitely think that's a good idea to start with then also think about what what are you going to be doing that day um for instance if you're going to the gym and you're going to be exercising you're probably going to get really sweaty um, or if you're going to be outside hiking or doing something when it's hot, you're going to get sweaty. Um, so do you really want to be wearing lots of layers of clothing? Do you want to be stuck in like long sleeves, for instance? With exercise pants, you can get the long ones. Um, but like with long sleeves, like are you just going to get too hot? Because you don't want to pass out from heat stroke, you know? Um, you know, are you going to be doing something that's like outside? Um, so just kind of consider the activity you're doing. Again who are you going to be with? Who are you going to be around? Like, for instance, certain family members, I do not um, show any scars because they do not know about my self-harm, for instance, because I've chosen to not um, tell that person or let that family member know. Or say it's like extended family um, who you don't really see very often. Um, it might be that you have like some cousins or some younger siblings or you babysit kids or something. You have a job with kids. If it was kids, I would definitely cover up because again, kids don't really have a filter. Kids aren't gonna really understand and they're gonna wanna ask questions and be like, what is that? 
Um, and again, you could use it as an opportunity, I suppose, to kind of um, educate on mental illness. But I kind of think it just depends on like what the situation is. Like, if it's a sibling, I would um, probably just say something like, that was from when I was really sick, when I was really ill, but I'm all better now. Like, I would say something like that to them. Um, again, it could be like a situation where you're going for a job interview. Um, for this, I'd always cover up for job interviews. Um, in fact, I've never worked, I've only ever had two jobs, but in my last two jobs, I always wore um, long sleeves like a cardigan over my work clothes um, and I was always wearing long pants because my most jobs obviously you need to wear things past the knee um, so I would be in like long pants obviously but I would always wear long sleeves or a cardigan um, just because like you don't have to cover up at work but for me personally I would feel really uncomfortable because for me I tend to wear my scars out if it's people I know well so this could be like my friends um, or say I get to know someone quite well, like say something, say someone like my hairdresser, right? But like I, I go to a hairdresser who lives near my house um, and I see her like every few months and it's just me and her because it's at her house. It's not like a whole room of other people getting their hair done. So I feel comfortable enough to go um, like with my legs out for instance because the ones on my legs are really healed and they're all white and they're really old but for instance the ones on my arms may be a lot newer and so I feel a bit more awkward and so I'd cover that bit up so it kind of just depends like who it is like I wouldn't I don't show my arms at like um church for instance not because people would judge me there because it's not a judgmental zone it's just that I am around a lot of older people and there's a lot of kids there and um you know, I don't really feel comfortable or I don't know the people that well, um, you know, and same with job interviews. I just feel like you, I don't want people to get the wrong, um, I don't want that to people to like base my um, personality or my abilities or anything on that, um, you know, and I feel like customers can be rude sometimes. They can like point out things and stuff like that. So again they're just a couple reasons on um, my i personally wouldn't do that in those situations but like i think like i know that when i see other people with self-harm scars which is not very regularly though um but when i do i'm always just like when i like literally go up to them and be like well done because i know how hard it can be like i spent years and years like literally in long sleeves and long pants like years just sweating all the time like where I live it's so hot and for majority of the year as well it'd be fine if you lived in a cold climate um but it's still annoying even then like you may just want to wear something different you know and it's just annoying being barricaded in your own body in a way like feeling like you're literally like a prisoner like you have to wear like you don't have options in clothing like I want to wear a skirt I want to wear a short dress I want to wear um a t-shirt or I want to wear a singlet top like sometimes they would be my few things of just some things to consider but overall my opinion and my view and you can totally disagree with this but I think that you should never feel pressured or guilted or made to feel bad for having scars um it's not your fault and I know that people who don't understand self-harm may be like well you did that to yourself but this is an addiction this is like a drug addiction you know, um, and it is like an addiction and it's something that you feel like you have to do and you become dependent on it. And if you have mental illness, this often just comes with mental illnesses. And um, like someone, like I live with BPD and that is a common symptom of BPD, but there's so many other mental illnesses where self-harm can be prevalent and it isn't just a teenager thing and it is an plenty of adults struggle with it like I'm almost 22 and I still deal with it so um don't ever feel made like don't don't feel bad about it basically um I know it can be so hard like I've had a lot of people in my life have their own views on it and that's totally fine I respect their views um but at the end of the day 
I'm gonna wear what I want and for me I spent so many years covering off and feeling like I could never wear what I wanted because I was either actively struggling with self-harm really badly or I was like really ashamed of my scars and I like I'm not saying this is easy like it's literally taken me like years and like slow steps to get to the point where I can go out of the house and just be confident with scars and all showing really noticeable ones or whatever and just go out and have fun um like for instance an example was that last night I went to a um like Christmas party type thing and some of the people there I am really close with so I didn't care um and they already know about my self-harm and my mental health issues so I didn't care um but some other people I didn't really know very well like they're people I've only known for a couple months like they're kind of like acquaintances like I wouldn't really call them exactly friends yet like you know kind of like people you know but you don't really know and I was kind of like oh I don't know what to do like do I wear long sleeves but I have tattoos right now that are new that are healing and I couldn't really have anything rubbing against my arm so um I basically just decided that I was going to like just basically wear my arms out and I just went and I did it and I did feel awkward but I just acted really confident and I just faked it I totally faked it I just acted like I didn't even have anything on my body um and the good thing too is that I have basically like a whole arm of tattoos so I feel like a lot of people um and I also have like quite a lot of piercings and stuff so I feel like people probably are more drawn to that anyway but um yeah I just kind of went and I was like stuff it I'm gonna have a good time I want to wear this cute outfit and I even got a compliment on my outfit actually um last night and on my tattoos by like it's this other girl who was there so yeah my tip is to just like fake it till you make it like you're gonna feel uncomfortable and it's gonna be awkward um luckily I've never had anybody like actually like ask me about it I don't know what I would say to be honest if somebody just outright asks me because um, like I always have things in my head, but then when people ask you, that'd be like so uncomfortable and awkward. Um, but yeah, like I totally just went out and was like, you know what? I'm going to have fun tonight and I'm not going to let this ruin my night, um, or whatever. So, you know, that's just my view. I hope this helps you guys. Um, definitely leave your comment down below, like what you think. Um, because I'd really like to hear your view and yeah if you want to check out I've got a whole playlist um, called self-harm well some I think it's called self-harm advice I'll leave it um, in the video as well but I have a whole bunch of other mental health videos and videos talking about self-harm if you want me to make like a whole series on self-harm like different questions or different topics to do with self-harm I would love to do that because I do not think it is talked about enough and the more people know about it the more um we can just like make it more of a I suppose like normal thing if you know what I mean so yeah I hope you like the video and I'll see you in my next one bye